Hey, you two. Have you read any good books lately? You know, I just checked out one of my favorites today, Miss Amy. Wonder. I love reading the story over and over again. I love that book too. I also love revisiting old favorites. I'm reading a new favorite right now. It's this book by Linda Sue Park called The One Thing You'd Save. And do you want to know something really exciting? I do. What's that? Linda Sue Park lives in Rochester, and she's going to visit the Irondequoit Public Library on July 17th, and I'm so excited. That's super exciting. You know what else I love about the library? All of the books. I just checked out all of these books the other day. I don't know which one to start with. So many good choices. I do the exact same thing, Miss Emily. I just grab an armful and check them out. And then I come home and I swim through my pile of books. And it's my favorite thing to do. Oh, Mr. Matt, are you in pain? Are you okay? What's going on over there? I have a confession to make. Mr. Matt, do you not like to read? What? No, how dare you? I love to read. That's actually part of the problem. Maybe I love it too much. Well, what did you do? I'm too embarrassed to say. Come on, it can't be that bad. I'm a terrible librarian. I love books so much that every time I see one, I have to check it out, but then I don't have time to read them all. And now I have all of these overdue books. And I'm afraid to return them because then they won't let me check out new books because of how much money I must owe. Can you imagine how bad it would look if word got out that a librarian had overdue books? It could be the end of my career, the end of libraries, the end of civilization as we know it, the end of the world, the end of... Hang on, Mr. Matt, I think you're being a little overdramatic. Yeah, I'm pretty sure you're not the first librarian to have an overdue library book. Really? Have either of you ever had an overdue book? Well, I haven't, no. Me neither, but that's okay. That's real comforting. I'm doomed. We're all doomed. But Mr. Matt, didn't you know the Ironic White Library is no longer charging overdue fees for children's books? And there's no overdue fees for teen books either. Wait, what? Did I miss a memo or something? What a relief! I, I'm saved! We're all saved! Crisis averted! I'll just quietly return the books when no one is looking and no one ever has to know that a librarian had overdue books. We have a tiny problem. Aren't we recording this video? Well, uh, hey kids, uh, good news. The Ironicrate Library is no longer ch charging overdue fees for children's and teen books. And that is definitely the only thing worth remembering from this video. So we hope you check out lots of books this summer and reading is fundamental. And thanks for watching, have a great day. I always return my books on time. I never judge a book by its cover and I always use a bookmark. <laughs> And make sure to check out our website for more information on summer reading. And we hope to see all of you at the library this summer. Make sure you say hi to us.